How many of you guys are super excited for the 2024 solar eclipse? Fortunately, I have my solar eclipse glasses just in time. All right. So how many of you guys were there for the August 21st, 2017 solar eclipse? Raise your hand. I was there. It was exciting. So tomorrow is a solar eclipse, April 8th, 2024. And Missouri happens to be uh, directly in the path, even though we're not in the exact location, like in the city, but we will see probably like 99% of totality, which was good enough for me. I don't feel like driving two hours <laughs> just for that 1%. But anyway, do you know that the next solar eclipse, you have to wait almost 20 years, is going to happen on August 23rd, 2044. So make sure you don't miss the solar eclipse tomorrow. All right, so these are the Kessif solar eclipse glasses, and it happens to be the 10 pack. Check it out, guys. Look at this. This is 10 pack. And as you can see right here, it also comes with a filter for your smartphone camera, otherwise known as a smartphone photo filter lens. And don't worry, these have been C and ISO certified to so make sure it is safe to protect your eyes. As you can see right there, okay, there's certification ISO. Okay, and let's go ahead and open this up. In addition, these are made of scratch proof lenses. So I'm gonna open up one of these to show you guys. Okay, good. Open one of this. I really appreciate how they are kind of individually wrapped, but at least two in a pack. Okay, let me open up one of these for you. Look at this, very classy, right? And make sure you check to make sure there are any scratches or damages because those will not be usable. Okay, and just FYI, you can store this for many years and reuse them as long as they are not damaged or scratched okay so these are looks like made of cardboard and the uh, scratch resistance lenses are made of the proprietary material here it tells you user instructions we're not going to get into too much of that okay and there's a certification right there all right so let's go ahead and put this on uh, actually let me go ahead and show you the uh, screen filter for the smartphone lens too. I guess I am going to take some pictures and uh, record some video. So that's one thing you want to do is you need this if you want to take pictures. Don't look directly through the smartphone because it's going to damage your eyes. You need to put this in front of the camera. Then you're going to take pictures and videos to protect your camera's special sensitive lenses. You also have all that material in there. It's as sensitive, it's almost as sensitive as your eyes, you know. Okay, so this side towards the sun, like this. So here's my Samsung Note 9. And I'm using my Samsung S20 Ultra with many camera lenses. So basically you want to do it like this. So let me go ahead and actually turn on the camera. All right. And you want to place it like this. So for me, I'm going to put my phone on the tripod, so I might have to tape this down. Use apply tape all around it. See how it's completely black? That's what you want to. You want it completely black. So let's go ahead and put this to the test. I have some tests. I want to run through it. See how it performs looking at the sun and also in directly in the light bulb. All right, so I'm going to remove my lamp. Actually, how many watts is this? Bulb. So this is actually a 13 watt LED bulb, but it's like, uh, I guess like 60 watt equivalent. So first all I'm going to use is, okay, so if I apply, actually I will apply it to this camera lens right here. See how it's completely dark? Well, you can test that right here. The smartphone, see, completely dark. That's what you want, all right? Now, what about the glasses, you ask? Why? Right. Take a look at this. 
It looks completely dark to me. So even when I put it right up to the to the goggles, see? And now it's time to test it out. Make sure it fits an adult sized head. That looks good to me from the side. So if it's children wearing them, just make sure uh, it stays on their head and it's not loose or falling off. It looks stylish. And I'm ready for solar eclipse tomorrow. All right, it's 8.44 a.m., the day of the solar eclipse. And there's the sun right there. Oh, it's bright today. I believe that's east. So let's go ahead and test it out. Make sure it works. And I am only able to see the sun. I'm recording this, my Samsung Note 9. Okay, make sure I got that centered. And see, I'm only able to see the sun. Wow, that's bright. Couple more hours, we're gonna enjoy the solar eclipse in full.